Now, a lot of people were concerned that work from home may be diminishing, so therefore your notebook sales would be hurt. Now, notebook was not as strong as I'd like, but everything else is very strong. How do you balance this idea of work from home and your business? Actually, we see work from home and the overall hybrid way of working as a big opportunity for us. Companies are investing in having a better experience for, for their employees, whether they're in the office, whether they're, whether they're at home. Also, the equipment needs to be better because you want great cameras, you, you want great audio, you want more memory. And this is really shifting demand toward premium categories. And all of these are, are good things for us. All right, so how do we... Uh... How do we explain personal printing? I mean, it's obviously uh, that corporate printing is great. But, you know what, I think you guys do so much good stuff. And I'm always surprised that this isn't just a breakout moment for personal, given the fact that so many of us are working from home. Well, but in this case, the shipments of printings have been really impacted by the supply chain. And this is something that we shared with investors already in the past. Most of our factories, most of the factories of our suppliers, are in Southeast Asia, and these countries have been in full lockdown during most of the fall and the beginning of December. And we were expecting that because with factories closed, we were not able to build products, and therefore shipments have been impacted. All right, now, you have a high-quality problem, Enrique. As long as I've known you, you've wanted to re return money to shareholders. That is very important to you. But the stock has run up quite a bit. Does a buyback still make sense all the way up here? Well, we continue to believe that the value of our shares is undervalued. And therefore, that buying HP shares is a good investment for investors. We have committed to buy at least $4 billion of shares this year. This quarter, we bought $1.5 billion. And we are going to continue to execute our plan because, again, we think it's a good investment. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.